continuing with our VMS install processing. At the end of the PyNet VMS install processing, there are some other steps to complete. And here we might see them. We need to add PyNet to the site-specific startup for VMS and also the shutdown. The idea would be that whenever VMS starts up, start PyNet. Whenever VMS shuts down, shut down PyNet. We also want to take a look at setting and checking our preferences for uh, snapshot range checking. By this, we enable or disable over range and under range quality checking of data coming into PyNet. We want to capture and document the results from a couple of utilities to help us gauge the cost in terms of memory and, and other system resources for running PyNet. We'll also want to take a look at setting up our interfaces. In our particular case, we're going to use an interface called Fractal as our simulated data source for Pi. And we may also find another interface, such as a laboratory interface or something like that, to start up. So that's what we're going to do here with our PostVMS install steps.